100 Days of Gratitude, Day 55, and today I'm grateful for knowing the answer to that question, what do you want to do when you grow up? And uh, this whole kind of idea, this concept, why I'm bringing this up, uh, came to mind because I recently thought of another direction I'd like to go uh, with, with my path, with my career. And I'll tell you about that in a sec. But, uh, I mean, what a common question, right? And, and what an important question, though certainly when I was younger and, and would get asked it, I, I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah, to, to say the least. It's really hard, you know, when, when you're at that age, you don't know. And uh, I'll also preface that, um, you know, the, though we think of it in terms of like, oh, this is a question to ask somebody younger, it's never too late, you know, like you're never too old to find what you want to do. And, uh, and if that changes, if that shifts, you know, I think one can and should follow that, uh, that passion, that bliss, whether it is as a career or a hobby, whatever that is, you know, to, yeah, uh, figure out what lights you up and what gets you inspired about creating value, being of service, of a positive contribution to the world. And again, if that's something a way that uh, you can and, and need to make an income from it, awesome. Or if it's more of a hobby, it's something, uh, a gifting, volunteering, amazing as well. And uh, yeah, it, it does take a while. I think that's ultimately the, the answer to it is uh, some people know, right? Like early on, instantly, you know, they, they just know like what they're meant to be here to do, you know, like as, as an occupation. And uh, for the rest of us, it takes a while. And so if you're, you know, teens or in your 20s, you don't have a clear idea. Heck, if you're in your 30s or 40s, 50s, 60s right like maybe you've been on a path and you're like you know what i'm thinking about something else like it's never too late you're never too old uh to engage in uh in a new path and uh so for me yeah i've been reflecting on this recently in it and i just kind of got this kind of solid affirmation i'm like yeah i've thought about that before and i'm, I'm definitely going to add it to what i do and it's, it's not a radical departure it's not a brand new career um and who knows where it'll evolve it's just something that i want to do uh for myself because i love it <laughs> and that is uh comedy now yeah i've 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 attempted this before, like just a one time kind of random. I did a, a stand up comedy skit uh, for one of the staff who was hosting these events at Light Cellar, where literally we would like push all the shelves uh, out of the way, set up chairs, and it was a comedy show in in the shop. And there were some great acts. I mean, really, truly, like it's it's one of the best experiences. Is like sitting through and enjoying a really good comedy show. Now, of course, there's some bad comics and there are some bad jokes but that's not what i'm talking about right i'm talking about the ones that just like they get you laughing the whole way they uplift your mood uh i really like the ones that are inspiring the ones that make you think the ones that you know touch topics that that have depth to them as well you know there's there's cheap comedy there's bad comedy and then there's like deep reflective uplifting uh hilarious comedy so i don't know you know what my path with this will look like i'm certainly not embarking on it to uh become a stand-up comedian uh and do the circuit of like comedy clubs and that kind of thing um but i just reflect you know like how much i enjoy that art form uh even though my kind of contact with it is very few and far between um, again, I, I find that most comedians, I don't relate to their content. I don't, you know, watch all the stand-up shows. I don't go out and seek it out. Uh, but when I do, you know, like it, it's impactful and, uh, you know, comedies is a wonderful gift to the world. So obviously I have a lot of experience public speaking and uh, that's been a passion of mine. And so I think it would be more of a blend of that, like, you know, doing humorous uh, speeches and uh, yeah, 
that is going to be a new direction. I'm not sure, you know, where, how I'm going to start other than, you know, I've, I've looked up a couple of uh, videos online. I understand some of the concepts and now really, I think it's just like really diving in getting to work at it, practicing. So if you've got any uh, suggestions, recommendations of, uh, you know, books or courses or anything like that, if this is a path that you've been down, let me know. Uh, I'm going to take my time with it. It's not like, you know, tomorrow, next month, or who knows, even next year, uh, you'll see me, you know, out doing the circuit. Um, it's just an element that I want to bring in uh, with more kind of intention and structure and, and, and learn how to uh, how to do that because darn that would be fun uh, because I appreciate it and I can see uh, the kind of the angle the element that I would want to bring to it and I uh, think it's gonna be good so day 55 100 days of gratitude uh, I'm grateful for yeah knowing what I want to do when I grow up um, when I first started it was always more kind of large conceptual even though I didn't know the specifics and I think that's you know hopefully maybe good advice for anybody on the path that is uh you know not quite sure you think about you know kind of large themes of like you know I always knew that I wanted to be of service I wanted to um help others provide uh you know positivity inspiration that kind of thing and you know like it's it's kind of, it's evolving and it's crystallizing down into certain paths that i'm on and that sense of like okay now i'm going to take this turn and i'm grateful for the ability to do that that any of us we can pursue whatever we want uh in this world just about you know within within reason um yeah you know obviously i'm i'm not about to be an nba basketball player not that that's a desire of mine but you know what i mean like literally almost anything uh we want we can we can pursue and uh, have a reasonable chance of not only learning about it but if one chooses decides for it to be a career uh or a source of income then uh, it can be that too uh of course doesn't have to be but uh yeah so there we are day 55 100 days of gratitude what do you want to be when you grow up